We're having a look today at the dull, witty Munambal Shiraz 2007. Um, this is the first time I've tasted it, although I've advertised it for sale. We just managed to get a real good price on it, and we were getting some feedback from Australia, such as the winemaker saying that in all 28 vintages that he's made this wine, this is the finest that he's ever produced. So, quite excited to see it. Darwini comes from the Pyrenees, which is the western part of Victoria, very, very high elevation, about um, 500 odd meters uh, above sea level. Dark wine. The thing about Darwini, one of the, one of the attributes of Darwini has a very classic black olive characteristic, which some people say defines them automatically on the palate, but we're not going to pick it up on the nose. The nose is just giving me dark fruit. Um, quite restrained, I think it's a little bit cold. Um, this ought to be tasted a little bit warmer than it is. The wine's closed. I'm going to wait for this to warm up a little bit and we can look at it a second time. Okay, what I've done just to speed the process along, because time's marching on, is I've decanted it in the classic Australian tradition. You'll notice that we've spent a fortune on Rydell decanters here. Uh, I keep this in the kitchen at home for emergencies just as, such as this. At the end of the day, it really doesn't, you don't need to spend a lot of money on decanting, but it really makes a massive difference, and it has to this wine, just by um, letting it warm up a little bit and giving it a bit of air. The wine's clearly young. Uh, this, this wine has time in it. Um, I would say, after nosing it, um, it's, it's got some, some fair potential in it, but let's have another serious look at it. Yeah, that's much better. And you're getting beautiful, rich, ripe fruit, um, some kind of brambly, brambly kind of nose in it. This is a serious wine. Um, it's, it's actually really, to, it reminds me a little bit of um, a couple of other Shirazes in the warmer climates in as much as it's actually ready to drink relatively now. It's quite unusual for cool climate Shiraz in Australia. Normally it's something you need to sit down and wait for. It. But I think this is actually okay now. I'd love to see it in six months time and even more in a year. So for those of you who've decided to grab them from us, um, I give it a very big tick. It's definitely um, a fantastic Shiraz, but it's, it, it's, got, it's got time in it, I'd say up to another 10 years worth. So at the end of the day, don't take the critics too seriously. If you like it, just drink it.